Mountains shoot into the sky around the pristine waters of Alaska's Resurrection Bay, providing home to everything from mountain goats to sea otters. They're pretty cute there all in a line. This space is so incredibly special, um, which also means that it is so worth protecting um, any small choices that we can make to preserve the specialness of this place. It's worth making. Um, this place changes people's lives. It really does. Um, I've seen people burst out in tears just over the beauty of this place. Callie Davenport guided us through a place that is no doubt beautiful through the lens, but I have to say, it's even more striking to experience it in person, to, to feel this place, a place being transformed by climate change. I've seen a dramatic change in the ice. Glaciers that I spent my first few years here going to have, um, have changed dramatically. Off in the distance, this is Bear Glacier. This is one of two types of glaciers, which instead of being in a mountain valley, they actually connect directly to the water. So as this glacier melts, it's actually forming its own little freshwater lake. We're actually gonna go a little closer and show you what I'm talking about. Now that we're closer, you can actually see the tips of icebergs that are floating in that freshwater lake, the lake formed by the melting glacier. And as we get into summer and the glacier melts more, eventually that freshwater lake fills up and will sort of completely burst, taking out trees, spilling out um, fresh water and icebergs out into Resurrection Bay. It's uh, quite a thing to witness. Those are all systems that are changing the water cycle. Uh, but the water cycle doesn't operate independently because it influences these food webs that are really important to, for instance, the native communities in Alaska, but also to the fisheries. Dr. Jeff Wolker is a climate scientist at the University of Alaska who specializes in the Arctic. And he explained that melting glaciers, changes here, echo thousands of miles away. Like, remember last year's deep freeze in Texas? This is exactly the example. So this big cold cell of air that moved down from the Arctic that invaded Texas, those are becoming, the unusual events are becoming the more common events. And this is a, again tied into the behavior of the North. Behavior linked to climate change. Alaska is America's fastest warming state. 4.2 degrees hotter than it was just 50 years ago. And so these changes are happening right in front of us. And some of them are happening much faster than we would anticipate it. And those are ones that suggest it's outside the natural boundary of variability. It's a living documentary for me. And every day that I take people out and show people this magical place, I wonder how many generations will get to experience this at least in some capacity, um, certainly probably not the way we're seeing them now.